So we next look at the properties of determinants. There are uh, a very few properties really to look at, but um, I would uh, like to just go over them uh, very quickly. First thing to keep in mind is the determinant of a plus b is not equal to the determinant of a plus the determinant of b. This is something to be weary of, careful on this is that when you do get a situation where you have the determinant of a sum of matrices, you might be tempted to open the brackets, uh, so to speak. A distributive law, uh, an algebra that we're very familiar with. Um, this is not okay when it comes to determinant. A determin a determinant uh, the determinant operator does not follow the distributive law. So therefore, you cannot, this, 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 is, this may be true for certain matrices, but it is not generally true. So you cannot take it for granted that this will be correct. That this will work. So that's one. Uh, another property of the determinant, okay, is the determinant of a product of square matrices where A and B both are square. I say that because it is possible that the product might be square, okay? So you need to be careful. If both A and B are square matrices, then this is equal to the determinant of A times the determinant of B. Okay, so that's another property of the uh, determinant. Yet another one is if you have, and this is a very interesting one, if you have a scalar k multiplying a matrix A, then, and if it's an n by n matrix, so if this is a, an n by n matrix, then this is equal to k to the power n determinant of A. And I'm sure you will understand why that happens, is because when you have when, when multiplication uh, of a scalar into a matrix means every row is multiplied by the scalar k. Um, but when that happens in a determinant situation, that means that every um, row, it's like taking out a multiple of the row. Just like what we used earlier in a previous uh, video on the um, row reduction method for calculating determinants. Right, the other very important result, in fact, um, that you need to note is that um, that if, if the determinant of A is equal to zero, okay, we say A is singular. Okay, and that means not inver uh, inverse doesn't exist, which means inverse does not exist. Okay, so keep that in mind. This is an important result. One of the reason, one of one very important reason why we actually calculate determinants. The other thing is, if determinant of a is not equal to zero, then we say a is non-singular. Okay, and is invertible. Means it's invertix exists, of course. So that's another important property. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention here, it's square and of the same size as well. Because multiplication will allow you to do uh, and of the same size. Okay, uh, A and B are both uh, of the same size as well. So please make a note of that. Yet another one is the determinant of an invertible matrix A. So if A was an invertible matrix, then the determinant of A inverse is 1 over the determinant of A. Another little interesting property. But remember here, A must be invertible. This is if A is invertible. Not, it's not generally true. Okay, because of course, if it's not invertible, then you cannot calculate its inverse. So that brings us to the end of the properties of determinants. Um, we'll stop here.